In this lesson, we're going to set up traffic controls that are going to govern the traffic at this intersection. The first thing we need to do is add in 3D models that we're then going to program to direct the traffic at the intersection. The models can be found in the Detail tool, clicking over to the Models tab, and scrolling down until we find a default traffic light. You can download additional traffic lights from the online database, but for right now we're going to stick with the defaults. Because this file was set up using a default location setting, the traffic is set up for left-hand driving, so I'm going to really quickly maneuver these lights into relatively the right place. The hot key for moving around objects in 3D space is shift and control. If you hold those two buttons and then click and drag, you'll rotate an object in 3D space. There are a couple of other hotkeys for moving 3D objects as well. If you hold Alt and Shift and then drag, you'll see two arrows that will allow you to move your object up and down on the Z-axis, and just holding Control will allow you to move it along the XY-axis. So now that these are relatively in the right place, I can set up the traffic controls by going to the plan view, zooming in on our intersection, and now you can see that there are four traffic control models within the intersection that we previously set up. In order to signalize the intersection, go to Edit by right-clicking and hit Edit Intersection. There are several controls you have for customizing your intersection here, but the tab that we're concerned with right now is traffic controls. So when we click on this tab, you can see that we have four drive paths here for each direction and four traffic models. When they're baby blue, that means that no traffic control model is set up for any direction. When you have them set up, they will all appear dark blue and they'll all correspond to the direction of traffic. So right now we know that nothing is set up and you don't see any assigned model in this list down here on the right. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the edit list and you'll see each of those four models and we'll scroll through until we find the one that's correct for that direction. Hit OK and now we can see that this traffic model corresponds with that direction of traffic and then when I off click it you can see that it's dark blue. So now we just need to repeat this process three times for each direction and now our intersection is completely signalized. Up on the top right, you can see the default signal timings, green 10 seconds, yellow 3, red 2, and you can customize any of these in the signal phases tab here to account for arrows and other signal phases. And the phase summary tab will give you a list of all of your phases that you set up. For now, I'm just going to keep everything on default. So if I click OK and go back into the 3D view, we can see my lights there still. And if I go to Options, Traffic Movement, Run Traffic Simulation, and just populate the model with a few cars, start the traffic simulation, and now you can see that the signals are controlling the traffic at the intersection. For subsequent tutorials, we'll go through editing intersection textures and a bunch of the other different tools that you can use to customize intersections.